comics here and I got a ton load of books I'm looking to get rid of for what I hope are good prices. Um, it's going to run as a straight sale. I have a, like I said, a number of books at different prices I'll be showing you shortly. Uh, there's my PayPal. I'll put that in the comments as well so you don't have to worry about it. Don't uh, pay for any books until we confirm the, the amounts and, and your address and, and everything. Um, but I just wanted to hold it off, put it up there for this, to start with. So you can go back to the beginning of the video and see it. Or you can read it in the comments. So the uh, first set of books we have are going to be $2 books. And these shipping prices apply to literally... Um, all the books here, unless I've got some full sets that I am selling with, with a shipped price in mind. But otherwise, if you're mixing and matching from all the different books, it'll be $7 for 1 through 5 books, $13 for 6 through 10 books, and $17 for 11 through 20 books. If you go over 20 books and <laughs> talk to me, we'll figure something out. $2, we've got Tooth and Claw by Kurt Busiek and Benjamin Dewey, Jordi Belair on... Colors, she's absolutely amazing, and uh, Comic Craft, a pseudonym I assume for the letterer. That was a great series. It seemed to have stopped. I heard rumors about it getting picked up, um, but I've got nothing official to confirm there, so I'm not going to add to those rumors. Uh, I believe this is the uh, number one Supergirl in the Rebirth line. Uh, from Valiant, I've got a little Bloodshot Zero. I have two of those available if anybody's interested. And you can pair that nicely with Bloodshot number one. Uh, from Babs Fletcher and something Stuart, I can't remember her. Babs Tar and Brendan Fletcher. Motor Crush. Uh, Jeff Lemire's Hawkeye number one. Mark Millar. I have not heard anything about Nemesis going to uh, his Netflix deal, but he's going to have more than just the original four announced. So there is a second printing variant of issue one. Uh, Savage Things right there, uh, number one from Vertigo, and then uh, the third in the uh, Demon Bear series, Bill Sankovich on art for New Mutants 21. Uh, this one I would sell for more, but it's, it's got some, some spine ticks and stuff, so you're picking up a, what they call reader copy, but I, I absolutely hate that <laughs> phrase. But there is a, a slightly beat up copy um, of New Mutants 21 for you. All right, let's take a look now at $3 books. Remember, shipping 1 through 5, 6 through 10, 11 through 20. Unfortunately, I'm only going to do U.S. shipping because I just had too many problems uh, trying to price out Canadian and, and foreign shipping, so I apologize for that. Darker Image, number one, Jim Lee and Rob Liefeld on art. Uh, this is the first appearance of three characters, Max, Pitt, and one other that I don't remember and don't really care. Uh, Paper Girls, number one, from Brian K. Vaughan and Cliff Chang. Absolutely amazing series. I've got a couple of copies of those. And we've got a regular Champions, number one, for $3 there. Uh, I've got this cool variant, I think. This is the Mark Brooks variant, Champions, number one. There's another copy right there. Uh, this variant is by Raza, an artist I don't know. Always like that one though, the planting the flag in the black and white there. This is, I don't think this is John Christopher Tyler, I'm not sure. Um, but it is obviously, uh, you know, a blister pack style variant, Nova and Vision. Still at $3 level, DC Universe Rebirth, number one. Got a few copies of those. And then this next one is uh, from Jason Latour and Robbie Rodriguez. There is Spider Gwen number one. Crosswind by Gail Simone and Cat Staggs. This was picked up for um, optioned at least. Don't know if it's being produced. You know, option just means somebody pays for the option, doesn't mean it's actually getting produced. So don't get all agog over options. It's definitely spec, but for three bucks, you know, you can't go wrong. I got a couple copies of those if you're interested. Uh, Champions 20. This is the first appearance of Amka as Snowguard. 19 is the first appearance of Amka, but 20 is the first where she actually comes out as Snowguard. Uh, all new, all different Avengers there from Mark Wade. Uh, number one, this is Alex Ross on art, I believe. 
first, sorry, third appearance of Deadpool is in X Force number four. I got a couple of copies of that. Uh, got a double pack here. This is the second series of Young Avengers by Kieran Gillen and Jamie McKelvey. Uh, Matt Wilson on colors and somebody Norton on letters. Uh, and there is uh, issue number one, first print, and this is a second print variant. And then rounding out the $3 comics is DC Bombshells number one. All right, let's move on to the $5 comics. Just keep it in mind that we're only shipping to the U.S. Those are the shipping prices for the comics if you're interested. This is uh, Supergirl number one in the ongoing Rebirth uh, series, but this is a uh, variant cover. Another variant here, Agents of Atlas, number one. Don't know much about that, uh, but it's there if anybody's interested. Avengers Prelude, Black Widow Strikes. This is uh, one, one of three limited series. This is a first printing. Blank Sketch for Champions, number one. Moon Knight, number one, from Lemire, Smallwood, and Bel Air. This is another amazing read. I read the first trade paperback. Pretty good. Uh, Micronauts, 35, first, first appearance of Death Squad. There is two copies of that. This is a variant um, of Flintstones, number one, from Mark Russell. The stuff that Mark Russell is writing is absolutely amazing. His Lone Ranger, his Snagglepuss was... was um, unbelievable. The DC Hanna-Barbera crossovers he does and the Flintstones was, was great too. Um, did I? Oh man. I gotta go back and redo that part. Okay. Alright, so these are the $5 comics. A reminder that it's US shipping only. And there's my shipping rates if you have, uh, more than 20 comics purchased, we'll figure something out. <laughs> Don't worry about that too much. So here we go. Flintstones number one. This is a variant, variant number six. Uh, but first printing, this is an absolutely amazing, amazing comic. Uh, the stuff that Mark Russell's writing these days is, is killing it. If you don't mind me overusing that phrase, he's absolutely killing it. Great comic. Great read. There's number one. Micronauts. 35. That is the first appearance of Death Squad. Those are both newsstand. Uh, Moon Knight, number one from Lemire and Smallwood and Bel Air. This is an absolutely amazing comic. Uh, really great run. I've read the first trade and collected a bunch of the issues. Really, really great. Uh, Champions Blank Sketch Variant, number one. Avengers Prelude, Black Widow Strikes uh, from Fred Van Lenty and others. Uh, whose names I don't really recognize, except for Nick Flaherty. This is number one of three in a limited series. Uh, another variant edition here for Agents of Atlas. A little bit of glare there. I hope that doesn't come out too badly. Um, this is a variant to Supergirl number one uh, in the Rebirth line. And this is the Emerald City Comic Con exclusive variant for uh, American Gods by Neil Gaiman um, from Dark Horse Comics. Continuing on with $5 comics, a little guy known as Alien Life Form, ALF number one, first issue. Got a couple of copies of Normals. This was another one that was optioned. Um, I'm not sure if it's being produced, but it was definitely um, picked up by a company to produce as some sort of uh, show. This is a double pack, Pit number one, Max number one. Those are five dollars for the two of them, not not five dollars each. Uh, again, same thing. Max number one, pit number one, five dollars for the two of them. Darker image, same thing as before at, when you saw in the three dollar pile, but this one is still sealed in the poly bag with um, the the trading card inside for death blow. So this one is five dollars. Uh, this one <laughs> I'd love to be charging you more, but it's got. Um, just like some color rubbing up here. It's not pure white and on the side it's got a tiny little color rubbing but this is Young Avengers number six. Uh, this is the first appearance of 
Uh, Cassie Lang has, I think her name is Serge in this, really kind of popular and sought after one, especially since they show her in the last Ant-Man and Wasp movie and everybody's thinking she's going to appear in Avengers 4. Uh, Batman and the Signal, number one, first appearance of Duke Thomas as the Signal, that's his new moniker. X-Force number eight, I believe this is the first cameo of Domino, right? New Mutants 98 was not really her, that was Copycat. Um, this is the cameo, and 11 is the first appearance, if I have that all correct. Correct me in the comments, because if I don't. Uh, this is a sketch variant for Ash vs. the Army of Darkness number zero. Baby Teeth, number one, from Donny Cates, $5. Hey, stop pulling my hair. Phil Noto variant for Civil War II, uh, absolutely one of my favorite, favorite covers from the Civil War II run. Um, Miss Marvel ripping up Captain Marvel, I thought that was really, really cool. Here is cover number one from uh, Bendis and David Mack in their, their new stuff that they're doing uh, under their own imprint for DC. Aquaman 19, this is the first appearance of the new King of Atlantis whose name uh, escapes me. Black Magic number one, Greg Rucka, signed. Black Order number one, this is the variant with um, something Maw. Nathaniel, what's his name? Ebony Maw, right? Ebony Maw. Ebony Maw, thank you. Uh, Days of Hate, issue one and issue two. Those are both issues for five bucks right there. Uh, Redlands, this is the foil edition, number one. I would be selling this for like 15 but it's got a significant um, uh, color break increase there and, and, and on the back. I mean, it's it's minor, but I, I wouldn't lie to you by like trying to pretend it was nothing. You can see it, right? So five bucks for the foil variant, number one there, and five bucks for the regular variant. That one is in much better condition. Uh, here is Jupiter's Legacy. This is one that is going um, to be one of uh, Mark Millar's first Netflix shows, and this is the variant cover, first printing. Uh, first appearance of Jonathan, Gabby's pet Wolverine, or pet badger, right? What is it? Well, I can't remember. Um, the pet, first appearance, his name is Jonathan. Uh, director's Cut, Vision number one. Uh, if you don't know about this, this is like one of the absolute greatest comics, in my opinion, in the last 10 years. Um, Tom King writing amazingly, Gabriel Hernandez Walta on, on art, um, and Joy Belair on just amazing colors. Like, the colors tell a story in this. It's pretty impressive. Uh, Oblivion Song, number one. I got a couple copies of that available. Moonshine, number one. And we uh, can only move this stack out of the way because we're getting large there. Moving on. Another double bag. We got uh, Mr. Miracle 2 and 3. Those are both first prints and both the regular um, versions. No variants there. New Teen Titans, number 23. This is first appearance of Blackfire, sister of Starfire or Greenfire or Amonfire. I don't know. She's sister of somebody. Um, that's her first appearance. This is one of those uh, art germ Supergirls that were really popular about a year ago. There is 18. Here is Scotty Young's... Uh, <laughs> Not safe for work, sex criminals. Full disclosure here, you are over 18 if you're purchasing this for me. Um, if you have a PayPal account, I assume you're over 18 anyway, but you are not purchasing that if you are under. Uh, same with this. This is sex criminals number one, but there is a slight tape tear there. It is, however, signed by Matt Fraction down the bottom here. And then rounding out the $5 comics is Scotty Young's I hate image to take up on his I hate fairyland uh, deal. All right, there you go. Those are the five dollar comics. Put those down, and now we move into the realm of ten dollar comics. Same thing with shipping, U.S. shipping only. Same prices, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. See what we got here. This is the Rebirth one shot. Uh, for Supergirl, I think this is a variant because it is done by Adam Hughes, who also signed it. 
to sign by adding. You know what? No. It's not, I mean, that's his signature, but that's a printing. I'm like, I met Adam Hughes, but he charged after like one signature, and I don't think I brought this, so never mind. This this is a five dollar comic. I thought I thought that I had gotten him to sign that. But now that I'm looking at that, that's no. This is a five dollar comic. So pretend I didn't start the ten dollars yet. That's still a five. Now for the ten dollar comics. Um we'll put these two together. Uh Rick and Morty presents the Vindicators. Uh, this one is listed at about ten dollars, and I'll throw in Lick Rick and Morty Little Poopy Superstar number one as well. So you got two comics there for ten bucks. Uh, Killer Be Killed number one from Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, Elizabeth Brightweiser on lettering. If you haven't read this series, this was a really great one. Iron Man two nineteen first appearance of Ghost, who you probably saw in the um, Ant Man and Wasp movie. Great, great character. Howard the Duck, number one. Uh, this is the second series that Zadarsky did. This one is popular because it is the first appearance of Gwenpool. She appeared on the cover of Deadpool's Secret, Secret Wars 2, T-O-O-2. Um, but this was her first appearance inside a comic with an actual like storyline attached to it. 52, week 7. This is the first um, appearance of Kate Kane, who later becomes a bat woman. Um, double here. This is Captain Marvel number one with Kelly Sudaconic signature and black at the bottom there. And pair this up with number two. Bloodshot number six, first cameo appearance or first appearance of Ninjak in, um, not in his uniform but dressed as a spy. Uh, Animosity number one. Great story, and that is option for a TV show. Uh, this one should be flipped around the other way. And this is Catwoman 4, I believe. Is that Art Germ? I can't remember who did this one. I think that's Art Germ, but anyway, beautiful. I can't read that. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Uh, Betty and Veronica. This one is actually signed by Adam Hughes. Uh, this is a variant cover to, uh, I think it's a variant cover to the short-lived series that he did. But if you're an Adam Hughes completist, that is definitely one to get for you. Uh, X-Force 11, this is the first appearance of Domino, recognizes the first actual appearance of, of Domino, um, as opposed to her cameo appearance or her copycat appearance. Uh, both of those kind of crack me up. We've got... Miss Marvel 31, the Stephanie Hans variant. Very, very popular and beautiful comic. I have three copies of this, I believe. Joshua Middleton on Batgirl 28. Um, just an amazing, amazing comic right there. Uh, first appearance of Kate Bishop as Hawkeye in Young Avengers number one. I have two copies of that. Ooh, that slid. And then I have a nicer copy of Young Avengers number six. Then the, uh, this is the better copy. So if you want to get one of these, make sure you say I want the $5 copy or the $10 copy. So I make sure that you claim the right one. Uh, I got another copy of that. We're going to do this series uh, as one shot. So Fujitsu, kind of fun little series here. One, two three, and four. Uh, that's $10 for, for all four of those. So if you haven't read that, you want a fun little series, a nice little mini-series. Uh, same thing for $10. We've got Revolution um, by Colin Bunn. This was this crazy idea that IDW had. Um, it is G.I. Joe, ROM, Transformers, and Micronauts all together. Um, so it's, yeah, $10 will give you all, all five issues. It's a five-issue limited series. Um, absolutely crazy nuttiness. All your favorite characters from all these properties uh, coming back in one big shot. Did I mention that it was crazy? Yeah. And then another $10 shot. Um, got Flash 33. It's a Dark Knight's Metal tie-in. Justice League 32 and 33. Dark Knight's Metal tie-in. Um, was here. 
Batman the Devastator, Dark Knight's Metal Tie-In, Batman the Merciless, and Batman the Drowning. So, six comics there for, for ten bucks. Boom. All right, now we're moving into territory that is so rare, I don't have a sign for it, because <laughs> now we got some individual prices. This is the second appearance of Carol, uh, Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel number one from the first series that Kelly Sue DeConnick did in 2000, I want to say 12, uh, and signed by Kelly Sue DeConnick. Right, $20 for that one right there. This is an Alex Ross sketch cover for the Mighty Captain Marvel number one. Uh, I'm going to ask $30 for this. If I was, I didn't really know much about this one. I was checking eBay. It's pretty much a flat $40 um, straight up. So we'll charge $30 for this one here. And now I got a few more packs. And like I said, some of these packs are going to be um, collected prices, if that makes sense. So don't ignore my other shipping fees if you get any of these. So this is $20 shipped right here. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man. We've got second printing variant for $7.97. Uh, we got $7.98, $7.99, and $800. And I believe one of these is the first appearance of the Red Goblin, if I remember the hype correctly. So that is $20 shipped for those four right there. If you are a fan of Ryan Lee O'Malley or if you're a fan of Snot Girl, I've got one through five here, plus some variants. $25 shipped. There is issue one. There is the variant for issue one. Issue 2, no variant for that. Issue 3, variant cover for issue 3. Issue 4, variant cover for issue 4. And issue 5. Once again, that is $25 shipped for that set. Moving along, causing me to stand up and reach across the table here. $30 shipped for Satellite Sam. This is a complete set for issues 1 through 15. Um, number 1 is a second printing, but it is signed by Matt Fraction. If you haven't seen this series before, it is drawn amazingly by Howard Shaken. Um, but the, the writing, I think, this, this tells a great story. You can really dive into this one. It's, it's amazing. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, I'm missing eleven, or did I? Ooh, I'm missing eleven. I have eleven. I will. Oh, there it is. It's just out of order. Twelve, eleven. 14, which means 13 is next. Yeah, is I put them out of order. And 15 right there. All right, so once again, we're looking at Satellite Sam. Complete set, 1 through 15, $30 shipped. Number one is a second printing, but it is signed by Matt Fraction. Okay. This next set is $100 shipped. It is complete. Volume 3, Miss Marvel. Uh, this is the basically original story of Miss Marvel, Miss Marvel number one. It is not her first appearance. It is, I guess, her fourth appearance, um, but it's the one that started it all off. Number one, and two, three, and four, five. And six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten, eleven, and twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Love that cover. 
15 and 16, 17 and 18, and there's 19. All right, so that is $100 shipped for the complete set 1 through 19 of Miss Marvel uh, Volume 3 by G. Willow Wilson. The one this has the same thing, um, but in this case, number one is signed. I also have the all new Marvel Now Point One number one and one of those Hans variants. So if you look at it, you're getting a signed one plus two bonus comics that easily make up that $25 difference, if, if not more. So this is her second cover appearance in costume, and this is the first story um, containing Miss Marvel. And then here is the Hans variant. Here's a signature from G. Willow Wilson on number one. And then I'm not going to take you through the other 19 comics. They're exactly the same as the previous 19. All right, and the final thing I've got for you guys today, again, has to do with my friend, Miss Marvel. Uh, this is the 1 in 100 variant. Uh, graded at a 9.8 to Miss Marvel number one, the same comic you just saw. This is drawn by Art Adams. Obviously, it's a sketch vari variant. It says at the top, um, G. Willow Wilson story, Adrian Alfana art, author Adams cover. Kamala Khan becomes the new Miss Marvel. Um, so this is uh, a very, very uh, rising comic, popular comic. Um, I am selling it for $2.25 shipped. If you're interested, uh, I have another copy of this. I, when I bought this one, I thought I was ordering the color copy, but the person on Amazon just advertised it, so I got the more rare version than the one I wanted. Um, as much as I love this, I don't need two copies, and I prefer to have the one that I got signed in person by Art Adams and G. Willow Wilson, so I am selling this one. $2.25 shipped. All right. All right, guys. Um, Thanks so much. Let me know if you have any questions. Put them in the comments. If you have any comments, put them in the comments. If I misrepresented any uh, printings or creators, let me know. Anything like that. If you want to see up close, you know, uh, send me some information and we can text about a comic. But that's it. You know, just start claiming in the comments anything that you want. And uh, good luck to you. All right. Thanks. Bye.